My name is Nathan Nabb, and I'm the professor of saxophone at Stephen F. Austin State University. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about things to consider when working on ergonomics and proper hand position when teaching your students saxophone. So the first thing we want to consider is just natural body position, natural posture. So making sure that the shoulders are relaxed, that the arms are, are at the side and that gravity is just holding, holding them down. Now, when you want to isolate movement, you want to just focus on movement from the elbow so that when they're reaching up, they're not involving the shoulder or any extraneous movement. It's simply this. The same thing is true with the left hand. So I'll demonstrate with the saxophone. When we pick up, we went here and here. You want to make sure that the fingers are curved, that the tips are on the pearls of the keys. When they do this, there's no extra muscles involved besides elbow forward. Now, uh, something else we want to consider is neck strap height. We want to make sure that we're not reaching forward with our neck, that we're playing upright, that we have uh, you know, proper upright posture. And you know, if you think about it, even when we lean forward, the, the sound and the voice strains. We want open air column, and the way we're going to do that is upright. So the saxophone needs to meet us at the mouth, like this. You notice I'm not lifting with the right hand, it's the, it's the proper neck strap height. So this is really where the support comes from. Um, the stability, you know, uh, comes from the thumbs. So we're not lifting, but we do actually hold it stable there. All right, there's a, but there should be no weight borne by the thumbs. And then really it's just about left hand and right hand. Understanding that, again, we're keeping the, the fingers curved and the tips on the pearls of the keys. We wanna then make sure that we stay in that position when we uh, go into the palm keys, for instance, very often you'll see uh, people play and their, their fingers will be out, you know, out into the palm keys, they'll pull the wrist back. And that's, that's not good because what, you know, you're, you're much further away then and uh, it's not very efficient. And so if you gotta get out of the palm keys, we wanna keep the, the, the fingers curved over the pearls. Another consideration is whether or not the saxophone goes in the middle or off to the right when sitting down, and I'll show you how to determine that now. The primary thing to consider here is size of the student and size of the instrument. Oftentimes, beginners aren't tall enough, even with alto, to properly play with the saxophone in the middle. So if you find that they're having to reach down and, and sit in an uncomfortable spot, uh, playing off to the side is completely fine. Tenor and baritone will always be played off to the side for the same reason. The instrument is too tall for most people to play in the middle, so playing off to the side is perfectly fine. I hope this helps you to determine proper ergonomics and hand position when playing the saxophone.